Hi guys, Gigi here. Today we are going uh, to test some uh, aftermarket pressure sensors for the DQ381, DQ500 units. This ones. And uh, these sensors come from a company called Transpeed. Uh, you can see them here, I will show you to you in detail. Very nice packed in a plastic bag in uh, their own uh, casing, metal casing with the logo on it and so on and the same logo on the sensors. Uh, we have tested some uh, other aftermarket sensors um, that are unknown for 5, 10, 20, uh, 40 uh, euro a piece. Uh, they don't work good. Uh, we have installed them in cars. Um, clutch could, could not be calibrated. The basic settings could, settings could not be done and so on. So uh, I have been using only the Bosch OEM sensors, which are a little bit uh, expensive uh, right now. And today uh, we are going to attempt to fix one of these guys with uh, the aftermarket uh, Transpeed sensors. So let's get to, to it. So these are the, the units. So these are the units. Um, and we have two models, the J, the one that's ending with the G, uh, zero, Z, zero GC, nine to seven, seven one one G. Yeah. And the one ending with the H. Um, we're going to pick one of them at random. Uh, and we're going to measure the actual pressure and then uh, after we change the sensors and, and uh, yeah, um, let me show you the sensors. So, nice packed, put some lights here, metal casing. They give also the O-rings, two O-rings and two sensors with the Transpeed logo on it, and that's it, nothing more. They look good, but I do not know how good they are. We're going to test and see. So first we're going to measure the actual values we are using. Make a frog and connect in OBD mode. We can see the software version and the number, coding and hardware unit and, and everything. Uh, this unit has been cloned because I have on the table, oh, I have a H, so sorry. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking I put a G on the table. We go to the measurements and start the measurements. And let's see. We put the visual, and we can already see here this sensor is way out of calibration, and it's the pressure on the clutch sensor K2. Uh, I'm going to change both of the sensors because I just want to see how they work in, in pairs. So I'm uh, going to change the sensors and then we can see what is happening. So we have the unit here. If you remember on the screen, this was the K2, this was the K1 and this was the, was the defective one. But I will change both of them. But first I will only change one just to see the difference uh, for the one. So this one on the left here. What do we do? We open it up. Very nice, simple. You can see the connections for the for the sensors here. Let me bring some light. We have to cut the pins here and replace it and the same here. On the other side, to open, we just have to pry a little bit on this plastic uh, clamp and open it. Yeah, and the same on the other side down. 
you can see the o-rings are here and these are the sensors and we're gonna see the original markings from the Bosch here so we're gonna open this and, and change the sensors first as I said first the one on the left this one I always mark them so I know it's a defective one or we'll just scratch it and I know this one is bad so I will not use it again So we're gonna cut one, two, three, and then and then on the other side. One, two, three, and then push the sensor out. Ah, it's still hanging in one. Yeah, it's out. It's marked as a defective one. Okay, now I need to bend this back in place again and put the and stretch them a little bit out so we can reach the new sensor. So now they are pretty close to each other. I can put the sensor in and then we can test. Now the sensor is in place, I just have to solder it. So the new sensor is installed. Let's see what the measurement says. Well, minus 0, 0, 0, 0.0203. 0, it's uh, acceptable and hopefully it will work. Then I'm going to change now that one. So we have a pair of uh, units uh, of sensors changed. And then uh, hopefully next week or something like that, uh, we will install them in a car and then uh, check what's, uh, what's happening. So now we've changed both sensors and we have the measurements. They look pretty good. So we will install in the car and, and see you next week. So these are the trans speed sensors bought from AliExpress. We will see how long they last. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.